How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're brand new. But today we're going to be taking a look at some Pokemon rumors, leaks, and news, and everything in that sense. And we've got this massive post by Soul Silver Art. And if you do not know who that is, it's sort of a leak analyst. Now, if you don't know what that is as well, basically it's an individual who I would call by this name, who essentially go out and find rumors or leaks and stuff like that, and try to break them down and actually analyze what those rumors or leaks could be implying, especially with a lot of riddles recently. It kind of matches up well. And this is from some recent rumors. And I thought we'd take a look at this massive thread that's been put together that talks about what the possible new mechanic of these games might actually be. So I thought we'd do that. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get started. So we're going to be reading through this massive thread. If you guys want to take a look at the thread on your own, I'm going to be linking down below to Momo Board, where I'll be including this thread and all the information and such, if you want to take a look at it on your own. But for now, just sit back and let me read it for you, as there is quite a bit to go through. So, okay, here's the massive Pokemon Scarlet and Violet thread, the new gimmick and mechanic thread. I've been working on for a while now. Honestly, it's more of a journey, ending with a very, a very possible option. You may have to read it all to understand, but definitely at least read the last bit. Enjoy. And the first one is this one right here this post from super effective who says rumor pokemon scarlet violet's new gimmick could involve a new in battle type switching mechanic with the possible addition of a third pokemon type slot which would be interesting and game freak already experimented with this mechanic in the past when trick or treat and forest curse moves were introduced in the games i guess so really interesting if that would be the case here that is the new mechanic but we'll have to wait and see if this is the situation so we continue on down further now ku gave us this which is these three lines which most likely means three. If we apply it to the uncle uh, document, which in this case he's referring to, and if you don't know who Ku here is, I'm going to explain who Ku is. Ku is a Riddler who last year for BDSP and Legends Arceus in 2021 actually gave us legitimate riddles that contained actual leaks and information before the release of Legends Arceus and BDSP, which confirmed actual real information. So he's a genuine leaker, or I mean, he's an individual who does get actual information and real leaks from other places as well. So keep that in mind. He gets, he's got some kind of source. Um, and he already posted something very recently. And in this case, we're talking about also the uncle. The uncle doc, in this case, is a document, which we made a video on, which talks about a lot of possible things for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And the uncle is a Chinese leaker that's on the Tieba Baidu uh, kind of like a Chinese Reddit. So if you didn't know that information, now you know. Now, he continues on. Gimmick info. It seems like it could mean uh, gaining a temporary third type in battle. Uh, this is just still just an assumption and mostly comes from what the uncle said about FF job changing, uh, which is Final Fantasy job changing, which is something you can do in uh, Final Fantasy 14, which is an MMO. I still don't fully get. But here's what the Riddler said. What's definitely going to be interesting is all the fake S from now on will inevitably involve three lines as their topics or they should be found guilty of serious deliriction of duty i don't know what that was supposed to mean but continue on the ff jobs because i've never played it but from what i understand you're one class slash job that can level up to or swap between a new class kind of like fire emblem so how could this apply well there are multiple ways if we are trusting and correctly deciphering eclipse then uh, it's the following, right? Uh, do you know how the FF job changes work? Exactly, I have no clue. Yes, I'll give you an explanation. If you start off as a Lancer, you can level up your job and eventually upgrade or change jobs. A Lancer can become a Dragoon. A Dragoon can become a Dark Knight. When you change jobs, your skills and abilities change somewhat. Once you unlock a new job, you change to the previous job whenever you want, uh, you know, or at least you can go, you can in Fire, you know, I guess Final Fantasy Origin. Um, and okay, I think I get that. So there you go. It's kind of like generally how it works in those games. Most likely, likely option is that there could be an item, maybe it's a forbidden fruit, orange grapes, etc., uh, that a Pokemon can eat in battle, like berries, maybe it causes the Pokemon to gain a new type while inflicting some kind of penalty onto it which connects to one of the things posted by Eclipse, who Eclipse, by the way, is also kind of like a Riddler-esque type guy, uh, but he is a little bit more iffy with his info. Sometimes he's correct, sometimes he's not, so just know that Eclipse can be a bit of a 50-50 gamble. But he said, real leak, except it causes a malice in exchange for a new color, with malice implying some sort of negative impact from, uh, from in this case, and, you know, um, and it says new color. So could that be the new typing thing? We'll have to wait and see. But we continue on here. 
Uh, Malice is said to be a forbidden fruit. Uh, one theory includes grapes. Some say it is uh, Malmello. In the past, marmelos were used to make marmalade. Grapes and uh, Malmello were brought to Japan by the Portuguese, which is interesting. So, he continues on. Since there is more than one forbidden fruit, it is like the devil's fruit. So, there you go. And uh, the next point is probably a penalty, as Malice means a financial penalty incurred by a trader, investor, or banker when an investment or deal results in a loss. And then, finally, um, in this case, we have Malice is a genus of a about 30 to 55 species of small deciduous, uh, deciduous uh, trees and shrubs in the family Roscacia, including the domesticated orchard apple. There you go. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I believe this mechanic will be like Dynamaxing in that every Pokemon, fully evolved or not, can use it to gain an advantage in battle. There's always been slight visual changes with these types of gimmicks, so I think the Pokemon will get a colored aura around it based on its new type. Which would need not, would not be that difficult, right? Even doing all the different color options for all the different types would not be that difficult for them. They literally just need to do pull a slider to change that color within like the game. So it's not that difficult for them to do that. Ironically, you could be seeing this aura hinted at in the anime between Lucario and Ash. Uh, this is a recent Coral Coro leak uh, of that. The anime likes to hint at things from time to time. However, Lucario is literally known for using auras, so maybe there's uh, nothing really there either. So yeah, that's true. Um, continue on though. This is like a Somebody said in the post here, I believe since the anime is showing us Ash and Lucario's aura bond, it's a hint towards the next gen. A gimmick that gives the Pokemon an additional type or a new base type temporarily. I also believe Koharu, Koharu is the uh, key as well as her Eevee has a secret. Question is, will Mons be able to change into any type or is there only one type assigned to each Mon or to a specific category of Pokemon? If you have, a, like, let's say an electric dragon with the gimmick, can I add any type or, you know, any type now, or just a single one? Or can it only add one type, say the fairy type? Remember, this is for later. Maybe there will be some Pokemon that react differently to it and completely change forms to add the type to themselves, just like a Gigantamax form, right? Or maybe there won't uh, be any form changing at all, which is an entirely different topic. I'll be writing a small thread about that soon, but it continues on. Does the gimmick give the Pokemon a new form or some kind of color aura, or both, or none? Uh, and Eclipse just answers yes, uh, which I guess means all of it in, in his opinion like yes some get a new form some get kind of an aura and some get nothing right which which actually does work out uh and somebody says do you think competitive players will uh, like the new gimmick it's something new for once like not like an additional move or form something really new you'll get uh, get both people who will like it and hate it calling it nonsense or comp uh, or not complementary to what we are used to which is interesting, because that could be totally different from what we used to. Now, since day one, people linked this type-changing gimmick to the TCG, a specific deck or whatever called Delta Series, where the Pokemon can change type. And it seems to me that Game Freak actually pulled some other things in the TCG too. Uh, and if you if you know what we're talking about here, we can look at this. I'll ask you something this time. Don't you just uh, don't you like Pokemon card gimmicks and features? Look at them, such awesomeness, even old-fashioned ones. And he's talking about these. So, for example, this is a, a Gyarados, a shiny Gyarados actually, which is a Delta species one, but it's a fire type of all things. Literally a fire type, which is so weird. And you have also this Garchomp, which is also a Delta species one. And this one is a water type, which again, really weird. It's a, it's a water type, so there you go. New gimmick is described as similar to job changing for Final Fantasy, but with types. And again, if you don't know what that's referring to, again, we already talked about that previously in the video, which is the Final Fantasy, the game has the, these job changes where you can essentially kind of switch between, uh, you know, kind of different classes almost. But that continues on. Does this normal type symbol look familiar? Oh. Uh, and look, a rainbow. One of the biggest things the Uncle Info said is that PLA had hinted to Gen 9, and I believe three things specifically point to this uh, Scarlet and Violet gimmick. Number one is Arceus's legend plate that uh, that had it change into the type weaknesses of the opponent. Which, yeah, this the, the normal logo from the TCG looks very similar to the gimmick logo that we have from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the logo of the Japanese version. And here we even have, you know, Energia... Arco Iris, which I guess this is like one of the energy cards that actually has like a literal rainbow of all the color, you know, all the typings on it. Number two, was uh, was switching between strong and agile styles could relate to swapping types and penalties for the advantage. That actually is true. Could the actual ability, like possibility for us switching between sw like, you know, agile and strong style be a way to hint at what's to come where we can actually switch, you know, typings of a certain Pokemon within, you know, battle as a, you know, and the penalty would be like, oh, we can't attack two times in a row. 
um, because that would be what the malice refers to, right? Imagine we pay a penalty to become the opponent's type weaknesses. Um, and uh, number three, many battles in PLA were multiple Pokemon at once uh, battles and often three on one battles. More on that later too. Don't forget that Arceus is also a normal type. There are many other theories I've heard that are uh, totally possible. However, I believe that the content of this thread is the most likely scenario and there, there's more. Eclipse further developed on some thoughts concerning the gimmick recently. Here's what somebody says. My theory for the gimmick has to do with the light. Uh, like the light we get from the sun kind of light. Uh, the special held item allows Pokemon to absorb ultraviolet or infrared light. Uh, or at least certain Pokemon. Those certain Pokemon get new forms. I'm also thinking that this could, ex could exist as a new type and temporary type. I'm less sold on this part, but every Pokemon can absorb light and gain it as a temporary third type. Some Pokemon are light types naturally. Again, I really doubt this. Also, this has nothing to do with fairy type. So, I think what he's referring to here, what Faisal is trying to say is, that maybe light typing, if you want to call it that, would be like a brand new typing, but not in a brand new typing in the, in the traditional way, right? It wouldn't be a typing... That would just be given like, oh, let's create a brand new Pokemon called Ooga Booga, and that would be a light type Pokemon. That wouldn't be the case. Light typing would be a typing that any Pokemon can technically take on, and it would be a temporary type, right? It's just something that's temporary on there, just like a Mega Evolution, but it's a literal typing. Um, it's there always, everywhere, light. But we can't see it. We can we can't see ultraviolet or, or uh, infrared light. Until now, the Pokemon absorb some kind of light energy in the new gimmick, and we can't uh, see it until the Pokemon absorb it and use it. There you go. So could that be what like Eclipse is kind of hinting at? So when you take all that uh, you kind of know that we've uh, that's I've said above and apply it to what was said in these screenshots. You read them. It seems we are very close to figuring out what this gimmick is. Now, while my comment helped progress us to the truth, he's saying someone in my replies was close. And here's what basically is being said here. So, potential player. This means anything. Maybe this is what Ku was actually referring to. And the uncle info isn't actually gaining a third type, but instead changing types like fire, uh, you know, Final Fantasy jobs and classes. So you're a dragon electric type in a triple battle. You can change from electric to fire type, etc. Um, and then, you know, continuation here. I only saw an intelligent comment that really thought of, uh, thought it off about the new mechanic. You are close. Good job, Souls of Art, for gathering such fun and dedicated people on your Twitter. And imagine if competitive Pokemon uh, was played on triple battles, full team versus full team. Attention, I'm talking about triple battles, not rotation battles. Um, but yeah, let's continue on to the, I guess, final part of this thread. No, okay. And while it could be anyone, I believe it was Gloomy uh, Archer's reply as it was most logical. All along, I've been wondering two things about this gimmick. How can any Pokemon become any type? And how can uh, the gimmick allow players to play together like Sword and Shield's raids? It's not an exact verdict. So maybe you can borrow and replace a type from one of the other Pokemon in the triple battle. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Seems a bit too complicated, but still, this whole time I've been trying to figure out how this gimmick will help us play together with friends. Well, imagine you and three friends could battle against three other people. Just the thought. That could be actually pretty ins insane. Triple combo mega move. That seems a little too far-fetched. What if you can combine moves? I remember in black and white, there were a few moves you could combine and get buffs. Uh, and then somebody says, you know, like Shining Star kind of comes in here and talks about them preferring uh, some glitzy, fla you know, we're preferring that over some glitzy, flashy stuff that requires a special band like Z-Moves or Dynamax. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But it seems a gimmick might be some kind of multi-battle where you can take and swap to the type of the Pokemon beside you or your opponent's weaknesses. And maybe you or your support mods inflict themselves with a penalty to use it. Uh, as for multiplayer aspect, I'm thinking of, uh, and here's what somebody says, uh, Jose here says, uh, Jose here says, as I, ah, I get it. That would be something like single battle spot, 3v3s, uh, but all Pokemon come out at the same time. I know this is just speculation from your part, but that would be an interesting quick battle mode, which actually would be pretty fun. Uh, but how Pokemon Masters is set up with three different trainers battling alongside each other to beat three other trainers, could this be a new only uh, new only feature to play with friends? But this last part is just speculation. It still doesn't recreate a way for multiplayer events for catching Mons. And somebody says here, makes me think more of the rotation battles from Black and White or the unity attack mechanic from the co-op battles in Pokemon Masters. You plus two other players have three Pokemon, and once you reach max unity, one Pokemon from each team attack together and you get a bonus if all use the same type. 
That does sound actually a bit more in the range of what we're talking about. Eclipse also posted this cheeky hint to an old Sneasel card that's still researching. It seems that it also to be pointing to multi-battle, specifically the move beat up. Uh, can anyone confirm what this move actually does in the TCG? And yes, he talked here about, hey guys, uh, do you have any Sneasel cards? The old, uh, the, uh, the old ones are pretty cool. Feel free to comment with yours. And he's referring to, in this case, this Sneasel card. And uh, somebody else says, beat up, maybe three versus three. Um... Uh, and yeah, this is the card. Hey, don't leak. And this is the card he's referring to. This is actually a banned card. It was actually so good, it was banned in competitive play because it was just too broken. Um, and uh, yeah, they, like I had the move beat up in this case, which which made it very effective. And yeah, somebody here basically like, you know, posted this, Pierrot, and he said, I like the middle one, which had the move beat up, which uh, yeah, it's kind of a strange one. Bottom line is, I could be wrong about which common eclipse was re referencing, or this, uh, this all may not be accurate info, speaking of which, I still can't shake that there's some kind of Mega, Zemu, G-Max hybrid. This is implying a new way to Mega Evolve or Mega Eggs, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but right here, we have Mega Legendary Eggs in Pokemon Go, I'm guessing, which is just weird, but it is what it is. Or maybe, at the very least, there may be some old Megas and Z-Moves returning alongside the new gimmick. Just look at the similarities here, there's so many th hints to them both, and it also makes perfect sense, if I didn't know how much work would go into randomly adding these features. Now, somebody here both saying, the fact that Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Necrosium Z crystal and the new gimmick crystal uh, symbol looks similar is interesting. Also, Geo Senji Town from Kalos, a bit of a stretch, but at least a bit of similarity. And he's talking about here the logo, as you can see, uh, up at the top from Scarlet and Violet, or I guess that's specifically his Pokemon Scarlet. I could be wrong, but yeah, I think the Scarlet one looks very similar to the Ultra and uh, you know, crystal, as well as, you know, uh, the, the actual, I guess the weapon they use there, like the giant, like, crystal um, in the town. So, yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this, though. I mean, what do you personally think this mechanic could be? Because that's pretty much it for this post. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys think about it? Uh, also, interestingly enough, somebody posted this right here. Uh, does this leak contain some kind of riddle? Seems to have some similarities to the Uncle Leak too. Anyone can solve it. And this person posted something along the lines of saying, the legendaries are an electric snake and a bipedal wyvern. The evil one is a black dragon. Brilliant and sh uh, brilliant sh uh, wait, brilliant slash shining are the key to the new battle dynamic uh, dynamics. Change your type, increase your stats. The Pokemon League is like an academy and the champion sun is the rival, only seven gyms. The capture system is a mix of uh, sword and shield and PLA. Pokemon centers are checkpoints, black and white two plot plus titans, which whatever that means. Uh, but uh, as Soul Silver said, it's possible, but seems very unlikely to be real. And somebody did point out black and white two plot seems kind of strange. They were sequels, so this person suggesting uh, Scarlet and Violet might be sequels to an already existing game, which does not seem very likely, unless it connects to like what? Like X and Y is the only possible option in this case. But I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one, and bye bye.